Claire, not only did you bring your beautiful painted sewing machine, you brought some fleece fabric, which I think we all love to work with, but Jamie. it's it's kind of hard for some people. Yes, because it stretches this way, it stretches <laughs> this way, it stretches that way, and it really stretches that way. I guess that's part of the beauty of it once you get something made, a blanket or pajamas or a bedspread or whatever, but it sure is hard to sew on, isn't it? Yes, and it's just really soft and wonderful for mm -hmm. babies. And uh, So how do we handle it? How do uh -huh. we... How do we actually sew with it? That's why most patterns don't teach you to sew with it at all. It's just cut, 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 and then you've got Tie to Tie it, it or something. But yeah, uh -huh. and, and yeah. that kind of gets boring after right. a while. Right. Let's look at, you have a product called, uh, let's see, a stick and rinse. Let's yes. show it right here because if people are in a store, they'd want to know what to look for. It just looks like a roll of tape. Right, yeah, and in uh -huh. essence it is. It has a release liner, and the tape itself it has a water-soluble adhesive on one side, and it is itself water soluble. Uh -huh. And the uniqueness about this is that it doesn't have a bias in it, so it locks the bias on the fabric. So oh. Go ahead and now. Do you do you cover every seam? Is that normally how you would do it, you, or just a strip across? What you do is, um, if you have a large like three yards of it, and you uh -huh. want to make a couple baby blankets, then you would tape a square or scallops. No, you don't. You can't tape scallops, can you? No. So then you would just take a, a pin. And you can actually write right over the line that you've drawn, and you can cut. Oh, on the product. Right We're cutting it. Yeah, and that's why it's wide uh -huh. instead of narrow. And now it's locked in place. See how I you see. can't stretch that? So, and then and you can do we just simply you show on the edge. edge. I mean, sew on it. <laughs> okay. Show on it. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. And that is what you see here already fixed on there. Now, polar fleece itself stretches so much that... Once the tape washes away, there's still that stretchability. And I'm about to put a non-stretchy, really nice, soft Ooh, chenille yarn. That is nice. Uh -huh. Yarn is and now not just for knitting. That's going to sort of stabilize it too, isn't it? It'll hold the edges tight it will. or taut anyway. Or the fabric will stretch and rip the yarn right off. Oh, okay. And what this tape is, is really a stay stitch. And if you, oh, you know about uh -huh, stay stitches, yeah. they don't really do anything, do they? No, no and <laughs> most of us skip that step anyway. Right. But now, I think it would be important to point out, you have a unique presser foot on there. That's Correct. It's called have, sequins and... Uh, and ribbon. And ribbon, which is And it is also what it does elastic like. and all types of yarns and different uh -huh. trims. It's just called sequins and ribbon because it's... You know, it's still long. Uh huh. But and wh why do they need an accessory guide along with it? The accessory guides enable you to sew different size of yarns and different types of oh. trims. Okay, so you might or might not need it for the one that we're sewing yeah, on actually, today. Actually, it's a good thing to always get because some yarns are thicker and some yarns are thinner. thinner. Mm -hmm. If if you want to use it primarily for yarn, absolutely, you want okay. the accessory guides. Okay, so we'd have guides. that on hand. And there are attachments that just go on the machine. I do have one on right now. Uh huh. And this holds the yarn in place in, in a way that if, as the needle is sewing over it, there's no way it can move out from underneath the needle, even if I spin the fabric around. Mm -hmm. so, it's, so do we set a machine like it a zigzag stitch? Yes, or? a zigzag okay. stitch based on the width of the yarn. Oh, okay. But back to the stay stitch, we do uh -huh. still want to do a stay stitch on the on edge. Top on the top of the rinse. tape. Okay, yes. on top of and the tape. And then it's a zigzag yeah. stitch. One needle swings over the left, one to the right. And this nut allows you to adjust it for your sewing machine. So by turning that nut, we're actually moving the yarn over. Uh -huh. Oh, you aren't going to hold that? No, you, <laughs> you never have to actually hold on oh. to the trim. And um, you, you normally would be sitting like right, this that's and, what I... and pulling from behind and trying to guide in front uh -huh. and wondering if you're ever going to get done with what you're doing. <laughs> but with this, you're able to simply... So it positions it. All yeah, you've got to do is right keep the on fabric there. on the machine. Right. Uh -huh. And then when you're done, do not try to tear that away because the stitch is a really long stitch uh -huh. and it will rip with the with the tape. So this does need to be washed or soaked oh. and then rinsed. And then so it's water done, soluble, it'll just disappear. Correct. The adhesive uh -huh. and the tape remove and allow you to end up with a soft look like here. Mm -hmm. Here I still have some of the tape on. Mm -hmm but I think I had some rinse Well, and, and of course, obviously, a, a blanket like this will be washed many times. And so. it takes only a few minutes to go all the way around, so you could you could uh -huh. make four baby blankets in less than a half an hour. And I noticed you didn't even round the corners, so with this, you can make a exact point? Yes, and you don't have to lower the needle. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's because always Because the important. yarn becomes your uh -huh. left and right swing of the needle, so uh -huh. you're not having to check your needle position. Well, and then when you're finished... 
you're going to cut the yarn and pull it out and, uh, and all you're left with after you wash is a soft baby blanket that you can give to the next baby in your life. Oh, and you and can never have go. too many blankets. And this one's oh all my gosh, this removed. one's Isn't beautiful. Cool? It is. And you can use a yarn that comp complements or contrasts mm -hmm. to add accent to the edge. Well, how easy is this? Yeah. This is great. Well, thank you so much for showing us how oh, to do this. Oh, it's my pleasure.